In the realm of Greek mythology, the tale of the Minotaur stands as a captivating and complex narrative, deeply entwined with the ancient kingdom of Crete and the intricate dynamics of its rulers. It is a story that transcends time and culture, delving into themes of divine retribution, forbidden desires, and the consequences of defying the will of the gods. The Minotaur's enigmatic origins trace back to the Cretan monarch, King Minos, whose fate was forever altered by a magnificent white bull gifted to him by the sea god Poseidon. However, King Minos chose to break his promise to sacrifice the sacred bull, invoking Poseidon's wrath and setting the wheels of tragedy in motion. In a cruel twist of fate, Poseidon's curse did not befall King Minos himself, but rather his wife, Queen Pasiphae. She found herself consumed by an unnatural and uncontrollable love for the sacred bull. This forbidden passion would set the stage for the birth of a monstrous entity that would haunt the labyrinthine corridors beneath the palace of Knossos. Driven by her forbidden desire to mate with the bull, Queen Pasiphae turned to the brilliant craftsman Daedalus for a solution. Daedalus, known for his ingenious inventions, undertook the challenge of creating a contraption that would allow Pasiphae to fulfill her unnatural yearning. It was within this wooden cow-like structure that Pasiphae, with Daedalus's assistance, managed to mate with the bull, leading to the birth of the Minotaur, a creature of both human and bovine lineage. Upon the Minotaur's birth, King Minos was struck by a mixture of horror and shame. He commissioned Daedalus to construct a labyrinth of unparalleled complexity beneath the grandeur of Knossos, a labyrinth so intricate that none who entered could hope to find their way out. Within this labyrinth, the Minotaur was incarcerated destined to subsist on a gruesome diet of human sacrifices dispatched from Athens. The Minotaur, as depicted in various ancient texts and artworks, possesses a set of distinct characteristics that have forever etched its image into the annals of mythology. It is consistently portrayed as a being with the body of a human and the head of a bull, a singular and captivating combination. Ancient Greek narratives emphasized the Minotaur's terrifying and imposing visage, largely due to its bull-like head and human body. Minotaurs are typically depicted as formidable and physically imposing, endowed with immense strength that adds to their menacing aura. The labyrinth under Knossos became the Minotaur's inescapable home, emphasizing their association with confinement and mystery. One of the most striking facets of the Minotaur's story is its insatiable hunger for human flesh. Sentenced to devour the human sacrifices from Athens, the Minotaur became a symbol of punishment and tribute. Beyond their physical attributes, Minotaurs serve as symbols within Greek mythology. Their narrative weaves themes of monstrosity, divine consequences, and the labyrinthine complexities of life's challenges, exploring the human struggle against inner demons and external obstacles. The Minotaur often found itself in conflict with Greek heroes like Theseus, who ventured into the labyrinth to confront and vanquish the beast. These encounters emphasize the Minotaur's role as an antagonist to be overcome. Throughout Greek mythology, Minotaurs invoked fear and dread due to their appearance and connection to enigmatic and shadowy locales. Minotaurs represent a duality of nature, merging human and animal traits. This duality frequently serves as a metaphor for the intricate complexities of human existence and the struggle between our rational and instinctual sides. The Minotaur's narrative was deeply interwoven with Greek culture, leaving an indelible mark on art, literature, and philosophy. 
It found a prominent place in ancient Greek art and continued to influence depictions in Roman and Renaissance works. The legendary labyrinth, purportedly constructed by King Minos to imprison the Minotaur, remains a subject of debate among scholars regarding its historical authenticity. Its description and the evidence surrounding its existence are sources of intrigue and fascination. According to Greek mythology, the labyrinth was an elaborate and unsolvable maze, designed to ensnare anyone who ventured inside, leading them inexorably to their doom. The labyrinth's creation was credited to the ingenious craftsman Daedalus, renowned for his inventive brilliance. Its labyrinthine complexity contributed to the myth's allure. Traditionally, the labyrinth was situated beneath the Knossos Palace in Crete, shrouded in an air of secrecy due to its subterranean nature. In the early 20th century, Sir Arthur Evans conducted extensive archaeological excavations at the Knossos site. While the palace did exhibit a labyrinthine layout with interconnected rooms and corridors, no conclusive evidence of a physical labyrinth as described in the myth has been unearthed. This has led some to speculate that the term, labyrinth, could have held symbolic or metaphorical significance in the context of the palace's intricate design. Some scholars propose that the labyrinth's significance might transcend the physical, representing complex religious rituals and beliefs in Minoan culture rather than serving solely as a tangible architectural structure. The role of minotaurs in the enigmatic Minoan culture of Crete remains a topic of intrigue, shrouded in limited direct evidence. Nevertheless, insights can be gleaned into how minotaurs potentially figured in Minoan culture and their implications in religious or cultural contexts. Minotaurs are believed to have played a role in Minoan mythology, which abounded with symbolism and mythological narratives, though specifics remain elusive. The labyrinth, intertwined with the Minotaur myth, could have held symbolic significance within Minoan culture, perhaps representing life's intricate journey, spiritual quests, or cosmic intricacies. The bull, a fundamental element of the Minotaur's hybrid nature was of great importance in Minoan culture. Bulls were frequently depicted in Minoan art and might have held religious or ritualistic significance, potentially linked to themes of fertility or sacrifice. It is conjectured by some scholars that the Minotaur myth may have influenced ceremonial practices or rituals within Minoan culture. Themes of sacrifice, rebirth, and transformation inherent to the myth could have resonated with Minoan beliefs. Minoan art, particularly frescoes and pottery, featured depictions of bull leaping, an acrobatic and perilous ritual involving a bull. While the precise connection to the Minotaur myth remains ambiguous, these depictions may have carried symbolic weight or significance of their own. Although the Minotaur myth originated in Greek mythology, its association with Crete, the heart of Minoan civilization, likely contributed to the island's cultural identity. The myth could have woven itself into the narratives and stories of Crete, infusing them with a distinctive character. The Minotaur's story rooted in Crete, exerted a lasting influence on later Greek culture. The myth's association with Crete and its labyrinthine motif may have persisted in the cultural memory of the Greeks. Notably, there are no recorded historical accounts or references from other ancient civilizations that explicitly detail encounters with minotaur-like creatures resembling those of Greek mythology. The Minotaur, with its distinctive human-bull hybrid form and the associated labyrinthine legend, emerges primarily as a product of Greek mythology, 
with minimal presence in the historical records or folklore of other ancient societies. However, various cultures worldwide boast their own myths and legends featuring hybrid or monstrous entities. These creatures often reflect indigenous beliefs, fears, and cultural values. While they may not align precisely with the Greek Minotaur, they share commonalities as mythical and fantastical beings. Ancient Egypt featured the Sphinx, a creature with a lion's body and a human head, a parallel to the Minotaur's hybridity. Mesopotamian cultures showcase diverse mythological beings, such as the Lamassu, characterized by the body of a bull or a lion, eagle wings, and a human head. Chinese mythology introduces entities like the Nua, a goddess with a human upper body and a serpent-like lower body, along with the Taotai, a voracious creature displaying a human-like face and animalistic traits. While different from the Minotaur, they embody the concept of hybridity. Indigenous cultures across the globe harbor their own myths and legends, featuring hybrid or animal-human entities deeply rooted in local traditions and belief systems. In essence, while the contours of minotaurs may appear in various folklore traditions, the Greek minotaur, characterized by its human-bull hybridism, labyrinthine imprisonment, and association with Crete, retains its distinctive place within Greek mythology and does not prominently feature in the mythologies or historical accounts of other civilizations through trade, exploration, or cultural exchange. In ancient Greek society, the Minotaur assumed the role of a potent symbol and metaphor, offering profound insights into themes spanning monstrosity, heroism, and the human condition. Its narrative resonated with the following thematic dimensions. The Minotaur embodied the concept of monstrosity in Greek society. Its grotesque amalgamation of human and bull-like features underscored the notion of consequences stemming from defiance of divine will. The Minotaur's myth provided a backdrop for acts of heroism, most notably the exploits of Theseus. His valiant quest to confront and defeat the Minotaur exemplified heroic virtues such as courage, cunning, and resourcefulness. Beyond the external confrontation, the Minotaur myth assumed metaphorical significance as an allegory for facing one's inner demons and fears. The labyrinth symbolized the intricate journey of self-discovery was slaying the Minotaur signifying the conquest of one's inner darkness. The Minotaur myth delved into facets of the human condition, particularly the repercussions of hubris and moral choices. King Minos's pride and deceit catalyzed the Minotaur's existence, illustrating that human actions could have far-reaching and tragic repercussions. The annual Athenian tribute of sending youths to be sacrificed to the Minotaur in Crete raised profound questions about justice and morality. It symbolized the sacrifices that individuals and societies sometimes made to maintain peace or avert divine wrath. Theseus's mission to end this tribute also underscored themes of justice and fairness. The labyrinth itself represented the intricate, and often perplexing journey of life. It served as a metaphor for the challenges, choices, and obstacles individuals encounter while navigating the complexities of existence. Theseus's journey through the labyrinth became an allegory for the human experience. The Minotaur myth interwove themes of transformation and redemption. While the Minotaur was a symbol of monstrosity, it was also a victim of its circumstances. Theseus's act of slaying the beast can be interpreted as a form of redemption or liberation from its cursed existence. The Minotaur's legacy extended beyond ancient Greece, leaving an indelible mark on neighboring cultures and later civilizations. 
In Rome, the Minotaur's tale found resonance among the populace, with Roman poets like Ovid reinterpreting the myth with their own poetic flourish. The Colosseum occasionally bore witness to gladiators engaging in heroic confrontations with bullheaded adversaries, solidifying the Minotaur's status as a timeless symbol of struggle and victory. As Christianity ascended, the Minotaur and its labyrinth in prison acquired symbolic connotations. The labyrinth, once a physical structure, transformed into a representation of the spiritual journey, with the Minotaur embodying sin and temptation. Monastic communities even incorporated labyrinthine designs into the floors of cathedrals, providing penitents a path for self-reflection and redemption. In modern times, the Minotaur continues to inspire contemporary authors who reimagine its characters and themes in innovative, and thought-provoking ways. The Minotaur has emerged as a symbol of transformation, defiance, and resilience in the face of insurmountable odds, resonating with the enduring human struggle for self-discovery and triumph. While the existence of a physical labyrinth matching the myth's description remains a matter of scholarly debate, Ongoing archaeological excavations on the island of Crete continue to unearth captivating artifacts and clues about the enigmatic Minoan civilization. The mystery surrounding the island, its magnificent palaces, and its labyrinthine passages persist as sources of intrigue and curiosity for researchers and enthusiasts alike. Ultimately, the timeless appeal of the Minotaur's narrative lies in its universal message, a message that transcends culture and time. It beckons humanity to confront the darkness that dwells in the hidden corners of existence, to navigate the labyrinthine complexities of life, and to emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Like Theseus before us, we are called to confront our fears, our desires, and our destinies within the labyrinth of our own existence, discovering that even amidst the darkest shadows, heroism, transformation, and redemption await. As we traverse the intricate threads of this ancient myth, we are invited to embark upon our own labyrinthine journeys, fraught with challenges, enigmas, and moments of revelation all illuminated by the enduring light of the Minotaur's legend. It is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, a power that continues to captivate our imaginations and inspire our quests for understanding in the ever-evolving tapestry of human existence.